an open panel where if you guys want to come up and ask questions one at a time, I'm only going to be letting people up one at a time. And if it gets to be a lot of people, like if there's somebody in queue to go up next, then we will um, do like a time limit. I hate doing that. God, that's so, I hate doing that guys. I am so sorry. There's like people waiting and stuff. Then we're going to do a time limit of five minutes and then they can go back to the end of the queue and come back up if they want to. I don't know, guys, if there's even going to be a, that many people who are willing to come up. Let me see, lips. Let's, uh, there you go. Oh, is Doug in here? Oh, hey, Doug. Hey, Heidi. So there's going to be, I, uh, there's going to be rules with the, Oh, thank you, Doug. That's so sweet. Thank you. Oh. So basically, the rules is just to be respectful in your questions. Or not, or not. Okay, let's see. You could ask anything except, well, when we get up here, we'll see if there's anything she doesn't want asked. And you just have to be respectful in it, not like accusatory, you know what I mean? Or I'm just going to drop you. I hate that. I really do. But um, I don't want her to get upset like she did last night. And that was my fault. Um, hey, Orchid Star. Hey, Carolina. Thank you. I'm glad you guys found me too. So we're... Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. So, so thank you. Uh, right before I came on, I was missing. Um, I think there was some kind of miscommunication. And I don't know if somebody was trying to cause something and told my mod some some untrue information but i was told like that scott h was talking crap about it's about me and saying i put out jody sue's like ex or like her ex-husband's or husband's name you guys i wasn't even sure of what his name was uh i was told a couple and just mentioned it, but I wasn't, but no. And I went there, nothing was said like that. So I think it was, I don't know if there was trolls trying to start stuff or what, but I was just in Scott H's last late last night after our live. And if you guys can make me aware when you guys see prayer garden, who is Jody Sue? She's the neighbor that was across the street that says that she heard a scream around four 30 ish or so. Somebody in chat said it. Okay, yeah, because... Yeah, Benny's been up to no good, guys. Uh, I love his live, that, and I haven't had a chance to watch it, where he claims proof that Ziggy is dishonest or has been dishonest or whatever. I'm still waiting for that proof. I heard there was no real proof. There was text... From a supposed mod. This is what I heard. Once again, I could be wrong because I'm going by what I heard. I did not watch it because. But he didn't even show any names or anything. Anybody could have texted him stuff and they could just be making it up. He could have had somebody text him this stuff. So I don't even know what's going on with that. I was I'm waiting on the proof. Does anybody... Yeah, Carolina, you saw the, you saw his live? What was he saying? Something about a rogue mod or something? Because we have very few mods here. Just because I like it, I didn't want mods to begin with because I was afraid of people getting blocked. 
and uh, I can't, if he, he and that's another thing too, uh, her Gordon is very upset and has given the information over to her lawyer. So he's pretty, I have, I have um, told her, but she, I don't think she's had a chance to really even read it that if he let out any personal information of her, like he can, he can, um, or she can report that video or strike that video. Oh, Chris, thank you so much. Prayer Garden, when you're here, can you let me know? I was told that she was going to be a few minutes late because she had to go to the store and pick up something real quick for her kids before she came on here. But yeah, that's why I was late. I was in Scott's and I was like trying to figure out figure out what was going on. Doug just went live right now. Really, Doug? <laughs> Let's see. Check my email. See if I've heard anything. If once you guys see prayer garden, can you guys just all let me know? Be like, she's here. She's here. She's here. Yeah. I didn't even know what rogue mod meant. But it's got to, I knew it had to be something bad if Benny was accusing me of something. Crack and play and support. It's like soccer. Out there, you can't see and know everything. But I'm connected to experts who I can chat with whenever I need to. But once it's decision time, that's Oh, so I just got an email. Thank you. Yeah. See, now people are worried. I'm getting emails that people are worried about my mods and stuff and to watch them. Um, the only person I could think of is an ex mod who is might be bitter. I don't know what my mods would know, though, really. I said, do they supposedly have some kind of private information or something? Yes, yeah, so we dislike him, so we rogue. I, I don't, none of my mod, that people are mods right now would want anything to do with Benny. Unless it's the one, the, I'm not even going to say her name, but if unless it's the one mod that I, demodded because she got upset during I'm not even gonna say who at this point out of respect for some people that are still mods oh no Levi or Levitt will say <laughs> Levitt his real name's Levi said maybe it's me I don't know like that <laughs> you're friends with this person I'm talking about <laughs> I think but that's why I'm saying I'm, I'm not saying her name out of respect for you because I think you're friends with her. Um, so what happened is she was in here. She was modded. And I actually had a bad feeling. I was convinced, actually, to mod her. Um, everybody loved her, thought she made good comments. I thought she had some kind of um, out there theories that were that I didn't, I didn't agree with. But I did always thought she made you know she made a lot of good comments and contributions to the topics and anyways what happened is when I first had prayer garden on she went ballistic she was like telling everybody to unsubscribe from me during the live as a mod she didn't like what Per Gordon was saying, she reacted like I tend to do myself very often. I react without thinking sometimes. And because, you know, Per Gordon was using some harsh language. And, but I'm glad we did hear her out because I think 
a lot of people are, are having a change of heart of, with her. Um, but anyway, she didn't like it. She didn't like the conversation. And she was freaking out. You know. And when I got a screenshot of her doing it while I was doing the live, I kind of went off a little bit. I was like, oh, no. You're going to be one of three people that's blocked from this channel later, lady. <laughs> Of course, she can still see the channel. But she just can't comment. Yeah, she's not for the faint of heart. That's, that's true. And she knows that. Oh, yes. Wasn't that something that Benny said? Jen Jinnia? Jenna? Jenna? Didn't he say... Like, one of his mods say I'm in love with him? Is that a joke? I mean, it has to be a joke, clearly. That I, a mod was supposedly saying I'm going to leave my boyfriend, or wanting to leave my boyfriend for him or something? Like, <laughs> you have to be pretty desperate, dude. No, I don't think anybody would think that. I don't I don't know if it was a they said it in a joking way or what. Yeah, I don't know if that was said in a joking way to let me email Prayer Garden real quick. This link. She usually comes in chat. <sighs> I felt so bad because I upset her yesterday. Um, you guys, she's not at all in love with, before she gets here, she's not at all in love with freaking Dawn. I'm telling you. I know a lot of people have that theory, but I promise you, she, she feels as a Christian woman that she, you know, her husband was her one and only, and he's has passed and so yeah any questions like that let's try not to go there just saying because it all and we're waiting to hear uh from Pro garden will be in here i know she was going to be a few minutes late so this isn't like i wouldn't worry i got an email at uh 40 minutes ago from her son saying that she'll be coming on tonight. However, she is currently picking something up for my siblings and maybe a few minutes late. So she's coming. But yeah. And I saw Terry and I'm sorry, Terry. I just have to say this because I was like the few minutes that I did see a Benny's live. Oh my God. <laughs> Terry was like, Oh, you're so lucky. Telling somebody they were so lucky. They have a wrench and where's my wrench and stuff. And I was like, Terry, Terry. See, she's just trying to fit in with those people. And that's the thing. I like, she doesn't get that. That is where all her, where all this, uh, attacks are coming from. You guys, Savannah did not contact Terry. I do not believe that. She had no reason to contact Terry. After hearing it, the whole situation and stuff, I let her talk and didn't interrupt her because I thought she has to go to prove or something. All right, so 
Prayer Garden, I'm so glad that you're back. I felt horrible yeah. last night. What, do we need to make any ground rules for these questions? Like, is there anything that you don't want to be asked? Is um, anything like that? Um, we'll just, we'll just, if I don't want to answer it, I'll just um, say pass. Yeah. Um, I, I would appreciate, you know, if they're going to come up and want to ask questions personally about me, I'm not going to answer those. Yeah. Definitely not. Um, or about, you know, my family and so forth. Um, no. And so if right. Going any to be, type of information. Okay. Yeah. If it's going to be personal. No. No. Yeah, any type of questions that try to figure out who she is personally, like, I mean, it's... <laughs> Or if I see the conversation, is it going that way? I mean, we'll give you one chance to be like, oh, no, let's, no, let's not ask that. But if, it could, if the questions continue to go in that route, then I'm just going to have to drop you. I'm sorry. Like, I hate doing this. I really do. I hate dropping people um, because I do try to have an open and um, open communication and non-censored. But you have to... We have to, when it comes to the guest, we have to go, we have to treat them with respect. Okay. She's doing something that is a very stressful and it's very st stressful and tough to come out with this type of information because you get, you know, it, it just brings trolls and stuff. Even though I believe she's get, getting way more support than trolls um, at this point. But still, let's, so I'll drop the link. I don't know. I don't know how many people are going to actually come up on panel because I know people are scared too. But I can also try reading. If you have questions, you can put it in the. Lawyers, who wants to pull another all-nighter? Are you okay? Like, re there's going to be a lot of repeat um, questions. I'm just telling you that right yeah, now. Per yeah, Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe they didn't hear it. Yeah. Know? And I also, um, you've got a lot of people. You've got like um, almost 800 people in there. And so um, do you think we should limit it to like um, one question per person so that you can get more of your viewers? Have a yeah. Chance if to? there's, if there's somebody in queue. Right. Um, yes. Like, if there's people in queue, then we're going to do like a limit of like five, you know, I don't know what do you, you're saying one question, but maybe the one question might be like, yes, no, or something. Uh, do you want to do like five minutes or something per person? If, if it gets like, there's people waiting. Well, I was thinking, you know, five minutes per person. Um, it's going, we would get like uh, 12 people in an hour. And you've got 700 and almost 800 people. I, I don't know how many people are going to really come up. I'm serious. I've okay. dropped the link a couple times. Because okay. well, some I people don't, are I don't want nobody leaving tonight feeling like, you know, they didn't get their opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I can start asking you questions in the chat. Uh, Molly Brown, Siggy, you are the best. She says, stay cool. You've got this. Oh, thank you so much, Molly. That's so sweet. So um, if the... If the if the mods can can keep just dropping the StreamYard link right here, um, just every so often, so that we can maybe get. So if you're wanting to come up and ask a question, if not, just drop. I know a lot of people are scared to come up. I that's why I, I was hoping people would be like rushing to come up to ask, but I know people are scared to come up on panel. I I know that because. I mean, and there is a lot of people in chat right now. <laughs> no, they, don't to, they don't have oh, to show no. themselves. Oh, no. This one says Lizzie. Lizzie, if this is Lizzie B. Savage and you're not respectful, I'm going to drop you. I'm telling you. I'm just saying, but there's more than one Lizzie in this world. So it says device is not connected, Lizzie. Yeah, what's it say? Levin, you want me to come up? Well, Levin, do you have a question?
Okay, uh, Lizzie, the person that's in the queue, it says device is not connected. I don't know if you need to plug in a headphone or something and retry. Oh, here we go. Here's here's somebody. Okay, I'm going to not show people's cameras because I don't know what's going to come up. Okay. Hi, everyone. All right. Hi, hi Vicki. Hi. Can you okay. hear me? Yes. So do you Good. have a question for the guest? Oh, one of the questions I wanted to go back and ask, how soon after Summer disappeared did she become friends with Dawn? Within okay. a couple of weeks. Within a couple of weeks? Yes. Early on. Yes. Did you know Dawn prior? No, not at all. Nor did, did I find any or any of the family. How did you get his number to to get in touch with him? Um, I it, I got in touch with him through Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Did he ever mention anything to you about Summer maybe drank something or took something? No. No, he didn't. Hmm. Do you have an opinion on what may have happened to Summer? In my opinion, I believe mm -hmm. that Candace, um, I think that Candace just lost her temper like she does and, and you know, hit Summer a little bit too hard, killed her. I mean, I that, have a sim that's my I have a similar feeling. feeling. You know, that's I don't think Don did it. I think he's covering it, but I don't think Don did it. I actually think Kim did it. I think Donald is covering too. And, you know, that's a sad thing. You know, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, yes, um, um, after the two nights of live, I'm coming in with something that I'm going to play. I'm going to, I got some recording that I want everyone to listen to. But I promised to do these two lives tonight and tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. And I always, you know, I'm a person of my word. When I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I was a little late tonight because I was picking food up for my kids. So, you know, I'm sorry about that. I apologize to everyone. But um, but you're know, bringing something new tonight for people to listen to? Not tonight. I'm going to bring it uh -huh. in after after the um because tonight I'm supposed to be just answering your guys' questions, talking with you, okay. and then um, tomorrow night I'm supposed to be answering questions also. So um, we're going unless to unless you that. run out of questions. I mean, maybe tomorrow night we can do it if you're wanting to, but we'll see how tonight goes. Right. Um, Did you ever speak with Candace? Did you ever speak with her on the phone? Oh yes, yes. I have, I was talking with Candace too. Um, Did you find her to be a pleasant woman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Legacy Nissan. Payments as low as two ninety eight per month on a new 2020. Candace is one of those people that she she can be like Donald, um, you know, not real pleasant, but you know, she's she's hard to describe because you know she at one point she wants you to be her friend or acts like she wants you to be her friend and everything, and then like. It, it flips then like, you know, it's like she has time to think about it. And, and the next thing you know, she's calling you really bad names. Like she called me some horrible names. I literally, yeah. you, you, you know, I can't explain Candace's temper. It's, it's just really um, off the wall, how bad and how out of control she gets. And she even at one point was, um, busting, you know, just pounding on Donald to the point. I mean, try to turn his back, but she was just, I guess, blasting him in the back. And, um, and, and you, you, know, he you were there or you heard that? I, I was on the phone and mm -hmm. 
Donald kept telling her to stop it, to stop it. And, you know, Candace ain't this victim that she's trying to portray to everybody. And that's why she didn't like me. It's because, you know, I wasn't going to, you know, feed into all of her. Um, you don't know Donnie. She, I'm the big victim. Feel sorry for me. Um, you know, I wasn't feeding into all of that. And that's what Candace wants everybody to feed into. She don't want nobody supporting Donald at all. She wants all the support. For her, she wants her to be the center of attention. It's all about. Okay, we got somebody else new up. Hey, Vicki, if you have more questions, um, I have a few people and two now, so I'm going to go into the next person. But thank you so much for coming up. All righty. I, I, I have three more right now, so I'm going to start doing a time watch. I did have a couple questions, but. Maybe I'll um, come up later. Yeah, yeah, come up later. All right, honey. All right, okay, so now we have uh, Justice for Summer Up, and I'll hit the little... T I hate doing this, guys. I am so sorry. I have to freak a time. I hate it. <laughs> so um, there you go, uh, Justice. Thank you for coming up. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, oh. I just have a call. Uh, Hey, we'll can stop. You, your time you real quick. We'll stop your time real quick. Um, Mary, I'm going to add Mary too. So maybe, maybe Mary will take questions with uh, with uh, Prayer Garden. Is that okay, Prayer Garden? Oh, is Mary here? Yeah. Oh, come yeah. up, Mary. Come up. Oh, come up, Mary. Come up. <laughs> Here's the echo. Um, Mary. Here's the echo. Oh shoot. Uh, do you want? Are you wanting to take questions, Mary, or are you just coming up for a second, or did you have something to say? Oh, hang out, Mary, because I need you. I mean, some of these questions I might not be able to answer. Well, she might not be able to stay the whole time. Like, okay. Because I need you. I mean, some of these stay the whole time. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let's let her. I... Okay. Yeah, I, yeah I, can, I, can take, I can take some questions. That's fine. Okay. Oh, my God. This is going to be so good. Okay. All right. Um. Did you care that you're on video right now, Justice for Summer? Uh, kind of. <laughs> like this. Okay. 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 That, that's we'll better. We'll resume. Okay. We'll resume. There we go. Justice for Summer. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you hear me still? Yep. Okay. Um, I just have a uh, prayer garden. I just have a question about the orange soda and the candy in the back seat of the card. Did they tell you anything? Did he tell you anything about those? Yes. Yes. Candace said that the orange soda was her mom's pop that she had bought while they were out that day. And she didn't want no more of it. So she gave it to Summer. And um, the candy that was in the back seat was uh, some Skittles. And they were uh, old. They, was, they wasn't, you know, they did not buy them at the store that day. Those were some skittles that were already in the in the vehicle okay okay that's that's all i was wondering is you know if they had said anything about you know about that orange soda and those skittles because the skittles just looked you know right. kind of awful yeah. yes yes no they were oh. they was definitely in there prior okay grandma well, just thank you very much them. yeah okay well thank you very much prayer garden for answering that for me you're welcome thank you for coming up justice uh thanks for having me all right <laughs> come back if you think of something else all right we'll do all right. um and let's see and the next one we have is is april and then chris rum um mary at any time you want to speak or whatever just unmute and and we'll have to if while mary's speaking you can't talk because it will echo really bad anybody just listening right now um so i will if you get muted that's because if it's because if mary's speaking and don't take it personally it's just to keep the echo down all right so hi april hi. april are you there i don't know we can't hear you Right now, all we have is Chris 
Ram and Q, does anybody else have any questions for Mary or? Hey, uh, April, you're on. We just can't hear you for some reason. It shows you're not muted, so I don't know how, why. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I have my um, I my uh, headset. I guess doesn't work. Okay, it's okay. Did you have Did you have a question for? Um, <clears throat> I don't have questions. This is the first time I've done this. I have a comment, yeah. if you don't mind. Okay. I wanted to tell you you're awesome and you do a great job. Aw. Yeah, so cool. and I want to tell Mary that she's very brave and strong. Um, I was essayed by my father six years ago, and or ten years ago, and I took six years to confront him and when I did confront him and want to deal with it he committed suicide so I, I'm so proud of you because even though I faced my problems um, I didn't have the time to get justice for it so what you're doing is amazing and you're doing it for a good cause and a lot of women look up to you mary so yes, don't yes. ever forget that you're going to work right, yeah. right. right. <laughs> yeah that that really makes me happy that makes me smile thank you so much it made me smile when you came on and able to do that because a lot of people can't a lot of people are not strong enough. And I also have a comment for um, Prayer Garden. And I watched the seven-hour live the night before last. And all the nasty comments for Prayer Garden was not right. People talk and react in different ways. They have different ways of talk, like expressing their feelings. And at least she came up and told us things that we didn't even know about. So don't take that stuff to heart. You're a strong woman too. To be able to come up and admit to things that were said must have been so hard for you and your family. That's very true. So that's all I wanted to say. And I, I'm i kind of nervous because I've, I've never seen this. See, I was afraid that people would be nervous to... Um to come up and I didn't know how many people we'd actually get. But what you do is just, you know, talk like you're talking on a phone. Just don't pay attention to comments because otherwise it will make you, it will throw you off. And yeah, so that's, that's how I started getting comfortable with it. Um, but yeah, you did great. I mean, and if you have any more questions, feel free to get back in queue and, um, you know, ask something because over time, over this conversation, you'll probably think of something, you know, people will start being like, oh, I want to ask that. Um, I appreciate you letting me come up and do this because I was, I've been trying to get a hold of Mary. I just didn't know her last name for Facebook. And I wanted to um, tell her and Jeannie my story. So I'm happy. My heart's happy that I was able to talk to you today, Mary. Mm. And and if she's not she's not responding right back because she has to mute or unmute every time she talks. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know if she heard you though. Mary, did you hear her? Oh, there she is. Yes. Mary, did you, you hear her? Yeah, oh, I is. yeah I heard her, and yeah, I I um. Want to commend you for coming out and confronting your dad. That is, you know, that's awesome that you did that. It's kind of crappy that he committed suicide, but, you know, maybe that was just his karma coming back to him. I don't know, you know, but I, I really appreciate, you know, you coming up and letting me know, you know, how you feel and everything about me and Jeannie and Trish and 
Um, that just means the world to us, so thank you. You're very welcome. Where? Um, well, you, you ladies have a wonderful evening. I'm going to go back down and listen to the rest of the show. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. Have a good okay. night, guys. All right, bye. Okay, so I'm going to... The next one... So we have one, two... We have four people in queue. So next one is Chris, Chris, Rom, and then Lizzie Winks, which is not Lizzie B. Savage, so don't worry. <laughs> I see her right now. She's a very cute little girl. and Or, well, not little girl. A lady. Um, Glitter. <laughs> She's doing this <laughs> these little poses. Okay, the Glitter Queen, you're, after, you're next. And the Glitter rat, Ratsy in Kentucky. Okay, so Chris, I'm about to add you up. If you don't want to be on camera, for a second, you will come up, put your hand over the camera, and then I'll just move it so that, okay. There you go. You can move your hand. You're now not on camera. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. I just want to say with when April came up, I got like a lump in my throat. That's this is how everyone should be. We should be building each other up, not tearing each other down. Even through our hard times and difficult times, you don't kick somebody when they're down. You put your hand out and help them up. But um, prayer. Do you think it could be anyone else besides Candace and Dom that no. hurt her? No, no, absolutely not. What absolutely. makes you so sure? Absolutely not. Um, I'm going to tell you. You, I'm going to. You know, I'm going to come on here. Um, today is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. If Ziggy agrees with me, um, I'm coming up on Friday and I'm going to explain, show everyone exactly what I'm talking about. Um, they don't, you don't understand. Do they look like grieving, grieving parents to you? Oh, my God. 
Donald don't have no, mm-hmm. uh, no problem attacking Mary or calling my phone up last night, blasting it off and, and cussing me and saying horrible, horrible things and so forth. Um, but yet he has, you know, he comes upon the videos, everybody's YouTube shares and Benny Keys and, and um, even Chris's. And Chris didn't buy his stuff. That's why he hated him. Because Chris could see right through that. But he comes up and he talks with that, you know, how he talks. I love my daughter, you know, and with all my heart. And yeah, the you girl know, who doesn't have a name. It, it, I, I hate to say this, but, you know, no. Because you've seen how he, I played a, I played a piece last night with the real Donald. And the and the outward person he really is, the real person that Donald is behind the scenes. And he's not like that at all. And this is a man that if his daughter was really kidnapped, absolutely, positively, no doubt was kidnapped. Him and Candace would be, you couldn't, you... A team of horses couldn't hold them back from being out here speaking the way I'm speaking right now, the way Mary's speaking right now, the way everybody else is out here speaking right now. We're we're doing a better job standing up and speaking for Summer. That's her name, Summer, Utah Wells. Mm -hmm. She's a beautiful little girl. Her name's Summer. She has a name. This is what this is all about. This is what we're doing right now is we're talking about summer, something that we can't get them parents to do. I even wrote statements to try to get Donald on the road to talking about summer. But you know what? No, he has other people, Benny Keys, and, you know, and Cher reads the statements and he just sits back and takes the glory, you, you know, the glory for it. And no, no, these are not, you know, and, and I tell him he wants to blame Allie and them. And I say, go to their neighborhood, go over there and hang up flyers, go door to door, go up to that door and look her straight in the face and see if you could hear anything inside her house. That's the way real parents are. But he's not. You know what he said? He's going to hang around his neighborhood and talk to his neighbors. What? <laughs> you're going to hang around your neighborhood and talk to your neighbors? In 2020, we actually took over handling claims on behalf of the insurance company that were still highly paper-based. We knew that we needed to have a much better digitally enabled workforce. This platform needs to to enable our claims handlers to handle insurance claims from first notification of loss all the way through to settling the claims and everything in between. And we selected Appian as, as the best technology to do that. When it's time to shine, make the most of it. That's always been my way, especially when it comes to managing weight and health. Obesity can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, including heart attack and even stroke. That's the real heart of the issue. Talk to a healthcare provider about your weight. Your heart may depend on it. Go to truthaboutweight.com to discover more. They, they know what happened to her, so they don't have to go look for her. It's so you see sad. what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, sissy, that's what I wanted to say. Um, he's sitting there saying that he's going to hang around his neighbors, but yeah, he's saying all his neighbors are meth heads, so go figure. What, does he think we believe he's not on anything? The both of them. Yes, they are. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. And And you didn't even know how old the boys were. Right. No. No. And you know, and you know something. Um, I can excuse that because I can excuse that because a lot of dads, you know, when they got a stay at home mom, a lot of dads have to work a lot of hours, sometimes two jobs. And they don't get to keep up with everything like moms do, you know? Yeah, and but you should know their ages. 
Wait, well, well, you know, you think most dads do, but um, you'd be surprised at how many dads don't. <laughs> I mean, you know, dads, dads just don't keep up with that stuff as much as moms do. But and and, you know, we can we can excuse we can excuse something, you know, as minor as that. But what we cannot excuse is him going to stick around this neighborhood instead of being out there, you know, looking, really looking for the child. And he wasn't out there because he already knew where she was. That's why they've been so nonchalant and laid back. And it just pissed me off. It, it, it really pissed me off. I'm sorry. But, you know, no. So being Even that we know that she's not in the walls, where else do you think she would be? I'm going to tell you something. We don't know if she's in that wall. And I'm going to be honest. I got threatened today. I got threatened. You know, they're trying mm -hmm. to shut me. They're trying to shut me up and they're trying to shut me down. I think it was Benny that threatened you, right? Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, at the end of your, um, your little speeches there, did you put... And thank you, Benny, for being the best friend. <laughs> oh. I love you, Benny, brother. <laughs> uh, oh, on those, oh, yeah, he, on those, yeah, he, oops, I'm echoing. I don't know. Uh, uh, there's, uh, hey, uh, hey, sissy, I was just wondering, um, was, when he threatened you, was that during one of his lives, or? Yes, Did he today. Just send you a message today. today it no, was during it, one of his know, lives. Yes, it was. Yes, yes. It was. And you know. Um, and you know. Did he threaten me too, or Jeannie? He says some stuff he about you stuff and about Jody Sue. Okay. All right. Poor Jody Sue. I'm gonna have to go watch that because that might be some more evidence for me. So they, they want me. They want me, you, and Jody Sue shut down. And, you know, that's not right. You know, it's not righteous at all. They're not going to shut me down at all. You know, and I'm not on here to say anything bad about Benny. God bless Benny. You know, I prayed for his little boy. I pray for him. You know, I know he's got to go in for some type um, of surgery. And and I pray for Benny. And I, I'm not on here to, to smash Benny or beat him down in any way. You know, I, I did see him on one of his videos swinging his son, talking to someone about, you know, how he didn't, he, you know, he wants to protect his son. He don't want nobody doing bad things, calling nobody and doing anything on hey, him. Prayer Garden, while you're saying yes. this, I'm continue, but I'm going to tell Chris, to, thank you so much for coming up. I'm going to pull up uh, the next okay. one. I, I have a full studio. So if you're, you guys aren't getting <laughs> okay. up, if you guys aren't getting up, keep trying um it only lets 10 people up in queue at a one at one or 10 people total so it includes me and so seven. Oh, oh she just dropped I'm, i feel bad okay sorry guys like i have to try to keep it to five minutes but continue prayer garden i'm gonna bring up lizzie if you don't want to be on camera you, are, do you care okay she doesn't care okay all right continue prayer garden if you have something to say anyway um you know, like I said, I'm not going to bash Benny in any way, form, or how. You know, um, it saddened me that he lied. He lied on me. And it saddens me that he said the things that he said. But you know what? That's between God and Benny. And he knows what he did. I don't know why he did it. Kraken Client Support is here to answer all your questions. We all need a little help sometimes. We're always believing, never ceasing, future shapers and difference makers. So whatever makes you feel whole, chase it. Advent Health, feel whole. But, but you know, I'm not going to be that type of person. I'm not going to, you know, I put it this way. I'm not lower. That's why hell's below me and heaven's above me. I'm not lowering myself to any of that at all. I'm staying above it because, you know, 
my sights on God. It's on a, uh, it's on a, you know, forever life. And that's my path. I'm going to stay on. I'm not letting that kind of hate or them kind of lies fear me off. You know, yeah, I'm glad. Don't. But, I, I was, but, I was afraid. Know, I was afraid it would affect you. But I, I, I got a spoiler alert right now for everyone. You want to know what was in the bag for Grandis? The, the prescription opioids. It oh. had to have been, but yeah. uh, you know, come Friday, I'll let you know how I know that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've been wondering because I got, I got, I remember this exactly when I started, tried to start a channel be, or decided to start a channel is when I asked that question on somebody's live and I got freaking, oh man. Yeah. You know, Ziggy, you know, as well as I do, when people talk, they're telling us a lot more about their self than they're telling us about us. Wow. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much, Lizzie. I didn't start your time or anything because you haven't talked yet, but um, for coming up, I, I was like, oh no, I thought it was Lizzie B. Savage. I was like, like, great. I love your highlights in your hair, by the way. Thank you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Great. Okay. Sorry. My phone was like, gave me that warning beep. So I had to plug it in. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> it's okay now. All right. But, so, um, go ahead. Yeah. So you can hear me. Okay. Mm hmm. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. What's that? I was just asking Pearl Garden if he, if she could hear you and she said, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to echo the last girl, what she said to Mary, um, you know, it, it, no matter how many times he calls you to bully you, every time you speak, I think someone else is inspired by you. A lot of us have that, you know, essay in our background. Like, it's just way more common than it should be. And the fact that, like, you know, when he's bullying you, that you can just laugh through it is just so authentic. Yesterday, when you were, you were like, you know what? That's okay. He's going to F in jail. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's good for you. Good for you. Because that's right. You know, you're, you're, that's beneath you. That's beneath you to answer those calls or texts. Take, take them right to your lawyer. That's the only person that needs to see those, but good for you. God bless you, Mary. We all support you. She's a, she's a, okay. thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Last yeah, night I kind yeah. of, I kind of got a little upset because of Donnie, you know, and he, <laughs> and all the stuff that he sent me, you know, and in the messages, I, I never did get them over to Ziggy, but I will Ziggy. I'll get them to you. But yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. And my question for, um, prayer garden is that I have like, okay, I have, I have three questions, but, um, I'll try to go fast cause I know it's, we're on a timer here, but, mm -hmm. and thanks for your compliment. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> that was nice. Um, but so here's my question. Did he, prayer garden, um, and thank you for, you know, coming forward on this show and saying what you know you know anybody has a right to change their mind at any point and anybody's redeemable so you know my question for you is like the dogs that's my biggest problem oh. is they had like did they have 13 dogs or is that just did i make that up um, I'm not sure how many dogs they got up there from my understanding. They have, they have, a, they have a bunch of stray dogs. And then the, I heard about the time Summer came up missing, the dog had a bunch of puppies. One of them had a bunch of puppies during that time. So God only knows how many are up there, but you know, um, somebody better get somebody up there to get removing them. Well, here's my, here's my question. Um, I heard the, I, I think it's 13. I don't know why I heard that number, but it's a lot, right? 13. Those dogs bark when anybody comes up that trail. Has Dawn ever explained to you why no one heard the dogs barking that day if someone supposedly took summer? Because even when someone that they know comes up that hill, that driveway, they bark. 
this is the funny thing. Donald says, oh, the dogs just happened to be ran off that day. They wasn't there. But when the police showed up, Um, they were the there. The dogs were there. Yeah, yep. they were there. So, you know, um, wow, you know, wow. Yep. That, was, that was amazing. They showed up, you know, um, right before they was gone all day, but they show up right when the police, they must have knew. Right the in time for the police. <laughs> yeah, they must know the police were coming. <laughs> I bet they I bet marked they when, the police, when the police oh, came up I there. Was, I was, sorry. No, yeah, I was going to say, you know what? I've had dogs my whole life, okay? And yeah. Donnie yeah. can say all he wants that the dogs weren't there. I call bull crap on that one. Because even Donnie in one of my phone calls told me that he, I asked him how many mm -hmm. dogs he had. He said 20 plus and counting. Because people Whoa. keep Whoa. bringing their dogs up there and dropping them off. Plus... He said none of them are fixed, so they just keep having more babies and more babies. So, you know, so, and my so. experience with dogs is I, they always bark. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. see a stranger, yeah. they will bark. And exactly. out of 20 dogs, you can't tell me there wasn't at least one of them suckers on that property that day. Right. 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 I totally uh, agree. So it's and that for me. That, oh, for me, was the clincher of why it wasn't a stranger abduction. Hey, uh, ask your second question, okay. but I'm going to uh, drop you after you ask it and then pull up that and maybe she can answer in the in the transition. Okay, so here's my, my okay, so my second question is, um, well, let's see, what, well, my statement in between is like, do you guys notice how whenever there was a, um, when he was doing the behavior panel questions, and it came up about his work partner being on meth. And he said, well, I'll have to look it up on uh, YouTube to see. Or I looked it up on YouTube to see how people yes. act when they're on meth. Yes. He knows how people act when I they're know, on meth. Right? I know. He went to jail for doing coke. You mean yeah. to tell me he doesn't know how meth addicts act? That's such a lie. So he's trying to be something he's not. He's trying to portray himself as something that he's not. And my second question for um, for you was that, did he ever mention to you why he was driving Candace's car other than the reason that he gave? Oh, good one. Good which one. was no reason at all, just because it needed driven. Because my understanding for that kind of work is that you already have all your tools in the truck because there's a lot of tools to lug around and it gets dirty and it's... It would be a lot of work, in other words, to switch vehicles. So you would need a reason to do that. Okay. Um, when it came to when it came to the other vehicle, Donald actually, you don't understand. Donald is a showboat, and to be honest with you, he just wanted to drive the new vehicle to show it off and so forth. You don't understand. That morning when they got up, they they didn't have no plan. Um, when they got up that morning, it was going to be a normal day. You know, Donald's paying $600 a month for this vehicle, and it's just sitting up there. Candace is driving her mom's vehicle around most of the time because she takes her mom with her everywhere. And so, you know, he just was like, I'm going to take that. I'm paying 600 bucks a month for this. I'm going to take it and show it off, you know. And, and I also think when he did leave, he had not planned on working a full day anyway because he said that, you know, he had planned to go home and spend some time with the kids and stuff, you know. But Candace, when he called her, was out running his urns and doing, you know, got caught up in a lot of things that with her mom and stuff. So he just decided, you know, oh, hell, just stay at work and, and, and you know, hang in there. Wow. That's um, uh, that's I'll go what he last thing, but I need to move on to the next. Okay, one. all right. No, I'm just saying maybe you should 
maybe you should take a look at that prayer garden because that's what he told you, but that doesn't really make any sense. Doesn't make any sense that just the day that Summer went missing, he happened to take the other car that to show it off at his work. Why would well, he show? Well, it makes know? it makes sense to me because, um, you know, this is that oh. is that's typical things that a man do, does. You know, men. They, you know, they, they have their buddies at work and everything. And, 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 and sometimes, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody else had, you know, um, he just wanted to impress somebody or something with other, something other than that big old dirty truck. You know what I'm saying? Maybe no, no, it don't make no sense to me. He I, was I going agree, to work. I agree with Lizzie on this one. I think it's odd that just it's a coincidence, definitely a strange coincidence if that is yeah. true. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not true. I, uh, Paragord, I'm just saying I, I did think it was weird right. that day. Oh, I don't right. know, and I want to know why. Um, but I'm gonna move on to the next person. Okay, thank you so bye. Much. Thank you. All right, um, and I want to say, uh, real quick, uh, Mary, um, a B. Oh shoot! Of course she she drops right when I was going to tell her. <laughs> She'll be back. <laughs> oh no! I was just going to tell A B. Thank you so much for the donation. That was so so nice. And I will make sure when Mary is back up, I will tell her this message that you would like her on her on your show. And um, I don't know Mary's email, but she said she is going to be sending me some stuff um so if for some reason it maybe you can drop your email or if somebody knows his email they can drop it and i'll try to get that to i'll uh email it to mary once she does email me and i also will mention it on this live so thank you so much ab and hey glitter hi how are you <laughs> good how are you good hi chat um so i have a question all right, let's prayer garden. Hi, prayer garden. So, what did um, Don tell you about the shed? And is it the shed that is located down by the road, the same shed that he stopped to first before going up onto the property um, that day that Summer went missing when he got back from, quote, work? Well... I'm going to tell you, Donald said that he didn't stop by no damn shed. He don't even know what you guys are talking about. He came in and he went straight up and around and down by the um, creek where his sons and the neighbor was. He said he don't know what you guys are talking about, about him stopping at a shed because he told me that he did not stop by any shed at all. He didn't stop to look in no shed. Wow, he must really be coming down with dementia because he said he did. Nope. And he, he even shows me. video of like that day. We talked about the shed a few times, and I'm mm. because people were saying, "Oh, he he had had summer in it for somebody to pick up." No, um. I was thinking, you know, and then people were talking about he may have sold summer. And I was thinking more along the lines, if he stopped, if he really came up there and stopped, it was to get the money before the police got there and maybe found the money themselves. If, if you know, human trafficking was really involved. But I'm telling you, human trafficking's out the window. Um, it's just, it's out the window right there. Uh, okay. So what, what was his words to you, um, about the shed? Not your opinion. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I don't mind to hear your opinion or right. your theories on it, but I'm kind of more curious about his words to you. His um, words to me is, I did not go by no shed. I don't even, I didn't stop at no shed. I don't even know what the hell these people's talking about. I went straight up my property and down by the creek where the lower side and I seen my boys and I seen the neighbor out there and you know I knew right then he's gone okay now has he ever mentioned anything to you like that may have caught your attention a bit within conversation 
about any sheds or any the school but like anything that would kind of make you go hmm you know or like does he mention about frequenting a certain location frequently anything like that donald always makes you say hmm you well, know yeah and yeah, I mean, but you know what I mean, though, w regarding summer, um, you know he, what I mean. He, yeah, he makes you I say, know he makes you say, hmm, through this whole, yeah. through the whole thing. I mean, he, this is a man that only want to say his daughter's name. I mean, that's a no. Hit. I know. Yeah, but you know, I mean, like an extra hmm on top of the regular hmms. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Well, you guys gonna get the extra hmm on Friday night. So, you know, mm. you have to tune in because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to do a bunch of spoiler alerts. This is, <laughs> okay. you know, it's going to mm. be like fireworks on Friday. Uh -oh. oh, and, um, tune in Friday. I have no idea about this, but okay. exactly. something that she was going to, yeah. Yeah, that's okay, Zeg. Exactly. So he really didn't say anything that would catch your attention as far as the sheds go then besides that you don't understand donald says everything catches my attention i no, mean i do trust me i've been following this it, case for four it, months it, so it's I totally where, you it. know you know um you would have to be more explanatory because i would be here all night telling you all the things that make you go hmm about this the situation okay with so Okay, you know? so when you were having conversations with Don, did Donald's blowing up my phone? Donald's blowing up my phone right now. Right now? Oh, hi, right. Don. He's been blowing it up for the last 15 minutes. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, gosh. She must be tipsy already. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's get back on task because you're not going to, you're not going to take our attention off from the task here, Don. I know you like to do that, Okay. But we're not doing that right now. We're talking about summer, and you're not going to take away from her, okay? So, fuck you, Don. Um, anyway, Thank I'm you. sorry. Thank you for saying that. No, no, say it again. Um, <laughs> I totally get what you're saying about Don, because I've been following the case for four months, and I often go, hmm. But what I mean is, like, when you were having conversations with him, whether it was via text or voice, phone, whatever, or video, you know, the video um, call. Did he ever talk about the sheds? Yes. Yes, he did talk about the shed. And he said that he did not stop and go into any sheds. That he did okay. not. He, he just assumed hmm. that Candace and them have already, you know, that's something they would have already checked. And he wasn't. And, and he wasn't interested in, in being places that they already probably have been. But he also, in the same breath, you know, remember, Jody Sue even verified this. Donald and Candace, after they called the police, Candace had Donald on what they call FaceTime, you know, FaceTiming him um, through Facebook or something. But anyway, if you took note, Donald said... The whole time Candace was driving around, he did not ever lose um, lose her. He made a point to let us know that he did not lose her. That's going to be up Friday night too. I'm telling you, tune in Friday night because I'm going I'm going to tell you something. What's Donald Donald's the one's going to be losing it. He's going to really lose it Friday night. You think my phone's blowing up now? Wait till Friday night. Well, today's Tuesday. So you oh, mean Thursday. So Thursday. A Thursday night. We Thursday. could do. We could do a Thursday night. Yes. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Know. I'm okay. sorry. Um. Okay. Thank well, you thank so much, you. Glitter. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. waiting. You're welcome. Thank <laughs> you. Right. I appreciate you coming up. No problem. Thank you. Okay. God bless. Uh, you. Kentucky Hunt, are you okay with being on camera? You can nod, or you don't want to. Okay. Cover your cover your camera real quick. So that because for a second you'll pop up on and I'll and then I'll tell you when it's safe to remove your hand. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're good. You can move remove your hand. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're on. <laughs> okay. My question to Prayer Garden is: Does she know anything? Oops. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, we got Mary back up. Sorry. 
Go ahead. Okay. Oh, shoot. I know you didn't want to be on camera. Okay, go ahead. Does Prayer Garden know anything about uh, Jackie Dobbs, uh, but dialed call when everybody heard the lady he was talking to. Oh wow, I haven't heard of that. Um, Abdonald's butt dial call. No, Jackie Jackie Dobbs. Jackie Dobbs, Jackie Dobbs butt dial call. Um, no, I haven't. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I heard some craziness about um some um call that Jackie Dobbs had done. I am not sure if it was a butt dial or. What where he was speaking something to someone? Um, I'm gonna tell you, Jackie Dobbs is a mental case that went up there and got chased off. You know, um, which hey, I'm gonna tell you, you got a point there because let me tell you something. Jackie Dobbs didn't take summer. Um, throw that one out the window too. He didn't take summer, and I'm gonna tell you. But, but, but let me tell you another thing. Did you find it funny that if anybody went up on Ben Hill Road, even if they own some property, even if they own property, I mean that that all of a sudden they ended up getting attacked and ran off. And and you know, okay, oh Jackie was pitching a tent. Maybe he was a little confused, pitched a tent on a neighbor's property instead. But don't you think them neighbors would have been like Oh, you know, uh, nice and said, hey, you know, well, we're going to have to get this surveyed and, and so forth. But your property, since they knew they were so um, experienced down there, 100 years, you know, um, experience of where everything and was piece, you know, right to the last piece of dirt in the corner belonged to them. Then don't you think they would have pointed that out to old Jackie and said, hey, we don't mind you being down here, but that this is we're telling you this is your land. Pitch your tent on it. You're welcome to stay. And I, I, I think you're right. <laughs> but what I'm what I was referring to is in that phone call, you can hear a lady in the in, you know, I guess the call picks her voice up. And I used to work as a court reporter. Right. Um and on that call, she says, and somebody said that they thought she was saying, God, you know, those pills make me horny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know what you're talking about now. Okay. What she actually said, what she actually said was, Don gives them to me, knows make me horny. Wait, wait, repeat that again. It, it cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Don gives them to me because he knows they make me horny. Oh my God. <laughs> go, go back and listen to it again. And also, I wanted to ask you um, what happened to Candace says that Summer was wearing her swimsuit from home. She said that she put the swimsuit on her that morning. Hunter says that she changed her at his house. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Okay, Candace said Hunter is a liar. That uh, that um, Summer already had her swimsuit on. She put it on from the house. Now, I'm not going to confirm that because I'm going to tell you why I'm not confirming it. I'm not going to confirm that because Hunter could have been telling the truth due to the simple fact that Candace was venturing off that morning to the ho to the doc hospital doctors, whatever with Grandis. She was going waiting in the parking lot for Grandis and then they was going to get prescription for Grandis and you know Maybe they had no plans of going. What I'm saying is they had no plans of going to that swimming hole at all. Then why put the swimsuit on her? Is, is that, that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. And let me tell you another thing. Candace um, also told me that she keeps the outfit that she put on summer that day, her school outfit. Uh -huh. That was in Grandis's car already. It was inside a grandma Grandis's car because she had went to a yard sale. Um, I guess bought a bunch of clothes and stuff, and obviously had not got them out of the car yet. 
And um, so that was that, you know, you know how we, you know how us women are. We stop at yard sales and whatever. And, and, and you know, oh, crap, the stuff's still in the trunk a week later. Um, okay. Because we're so busy doing other things, you know, we got to pick up this, we got to pick up that, we got to go here. And then you go to open the trunk to put the groceries in, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know. You mm -hmm. hey, my other question was Have you ever met uh, Don's ex wife that Summer calls grandma? Donald's ex wife? Yes. That Summer calls grandma? Uh huh. Oh, hell no. It's not, Donald's ex-wife, nobody's calling her grandma, especially um, Candace's kids. I don't know where that came from. It was because, in an article. It was in a news article. Yeah, well, you know, I don't think that's truth because I'll tell you why. Donald's ex-wife was a drug head and everything, and Donald just recently, and they didn't even like each other. Donald told me that they just recently started corresponding. So how could... How could Summer call the ex-wife anything? And let me tell you another thing about Candace. Do you seriously think Candace is going to let Donald correspond with his ex-wife? Uh, somebody well, that according, according to everything that, that uh, we can find out, she's followed Donald from state to state. And I just wonder if the woman that Jackie Dobbs is speaking to is actually Donald's ex-wife. Oh no, no, Jackie Dobbs. Um, I I went over his Facebook with a fine tooth comb before he shut it down, and I can assure you, Jackie Dobbs is just a um, he's just a old, confused old man that you know was looking for some change. He 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 blindsidedly bought that property up there. He went up there to check it out and. And, you know, he got attacked, you know, he, he got attacked as soon as he got up there because the people living there, they, you know, you could buy the property, but they, but they don't want you to live on it. They, you know, they, they won't, they think mm -hmm. after a piece of land has been up for sale so long, some people just automatically feel like they own it or. Well, who in the world would want to live, you know, right there by Donald anyway? Or, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the next person. I'm so sorry. Okay. I Thank hate you. I had this stuff, like it's so full. I keep getting this message that pops up. You you know that people's trying to enter. People's trying to enter, and it's like there's a max. Well, well, so, I would like to finish answering. Yeah, yeah, you can continue uh, for sure. I'm just going to pull up you the know, next person. All right, hey, Kentucky. Kentucky. hey, can I say something, sissy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to let you know the. You know, I know Pam very well, okay? I see her at least once a month or so. And, um, you know, I've known her ever since her and Donnie were married. And Donnie lied to you about saying she was on drugs. The only drug that she ever done was marijuana. Seriously. This lady was the biggest. This lady is the biggest. Oh, how you doing? What you doing today? Oh, got a bowl you can smoke with me, Mary. I've been out for a while or something, you know, and that's the way she was. She was never, ever on hard drugs, ever. Wow. Yeah, that's Donald. That's Donald, you know, that's that that is typical, you know, stereotype. Donald right there and you're right, you're you, right. And that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say is this man he loves to cause controversy he loves it you know he was laughing last night he was totally laughing and really got a kick out of you know you getting upset on you know and me getting upset and and it just you know and, and he loves it and tonight he starts banging my phone again you know Wanting to, you know, go round two, go with, round us. two with us. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, he, that's why I got kicked out of the, the live because he started calling me again. So right. I went in and I blocked him. So I'm hoping that works, unless he starts calling me on Candace's phone. 
then I'll have to well, no, get you out just of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <Right. laughs> so I just wanted to let you guys know that's what happened. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, hi, Tabby. Hi. <laughs> um, I I just wanted to say that. Ziggy and I saw that AB was in the comments. You guys are superstars. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll pause your time one second. I want to say to Mary, "Hey, Mary, AB is trying to get a hold of you. Um, I have his email. When you email me, I can email you his email. He wants to get you on the show on his show if possible. I don't know if you're <laughs> up for that, but uh, that's something to think about. He's really trying to. He put a, sent a super chat in it right when you had dropped." Uh, to ask you or to, he's trying to get a hold of you. So I could send you his email when it's, I can, I can tell you now, but it's step-by-step -step exploring video at gmail.com. Um, and then we could put it in the chat too for you. Um, but when you email me, I'll also email it to you. If you're, if you're wanting to do that. Yeah, that's okay. I just, you know, I'm at a point where I don't trust anybody. So oh, I'm afraid to give email and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I figured that because I knew that that was kind of why you were the other day when I was trying to, I was like saying, I don't have a way to contact you. I don't have a way to contact you. Um, I kind of knew I didn't push it too bad because I knew you were kind of probably not want to give out any type of contact info to people and stuff or say it over a alive here where you know hundreds of people can see so so yeah um but yeah um if if when you email me um yeah if you email me i won't repeat anything i won't send your email to anybody um they don't want me to now if you say hey it's okay to send it to ab you know just include that in there you don't have to answer now i'm just saying you know um, I won't send it to anybody that you don't want me to, if you do email me, but anyways. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to say that you two are superstars, um, Aww. you know, for what you guys are doing and Mary, um, you are awesome because you and Jeannie and Trish and everybody, because I was raped by my best friend's grandfather when I was 15 and I didn't get justice. I did turn him in, but the police did absolutely nothing. And he was molesting my, my best friend too. Um, so I never got justice and I'm hoping that you do. It, it m makes me so sick. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. I'm really sorry for that, that you didn't, you know, get to have justice for what had, you know, what went on with you. That's really sad. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. That's really sweet of you to say. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, and I was so touched. And, um, you know, I, I just dream of the day that you get your justice. You guys get your justice. Okay? That'll be my justice. Okay? Um, Prayer Garden, this one's for you. I just wanted to say that you are awesome for coming out with your information because it shows that Don is the liar that we all know he is. That he is. And thank you for agreeing with me. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I can, again, cannot wait till the day that, uh, yeah, he gets those pretty little bracelets on his wrists. But yes. <laughs> um, justice has, needs to be served. Justice needs yes. to be served. Yes. And yes. Did everybody leave? It's just me and Mary. <laughs> Hi, Mary. <laughs> oh, Prayer Garden oh, is still there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but you two, I was wondering, um, did Don ever say anything to either one of you about Cher knowing more than about the situation than what she can say? Well, he hasn't said nothing to me, but, you know, a lot of um, the lives that she had done in the past with, um, like, she'll be talking to Donnie on the phone or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll, yeah. I'll catch stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I keep going back over interviews after interview after interview. I mean, from the very first. Right. Because I keep right. telling myself, what, what are we missing? You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Because there's yeah. something that we're missing, but it seems like the way Donnie's talking, like he's um, basically maybe kind of given a little bit of clue here and there. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? When he talks, but mm -hmm. I don't know. So. Yeah, no, he he definitely is. And I'm I'm curious to see this Dr. Phil show because I think Dr. Phil is going to eat him up. Yeah, that's if we yeah. even on the Dr. Phil show. <laughs> right. Um, no, he, he was on the Dr. Phil show. Um, I don't know if I should say anything, but I think I might be going on there too. So <laughs> just to let everybody know. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You so, <laughs> so prayer garden. He didn't say anything to you about share. Oh yeah, he said a whole lot to me about share. Oh, because I think she knows something that TBI should know, but she's just not turning it in. Share share knows a whole lot of something. She knows a whole lot of something, and I don't understand why. Why she's not, you know, sharing it with everyone. Why she's not bringing it out. Um, I have nothing against Cher. Donald, you know, Donald called her a lot of choice names. He, um, he super dis, you know, Candace hates her. But Donald mm -hmm. don't like her. Donald just wants her to, her platform to, you know, be the fame whore he wants to be on it. And, you know, if, if. They want to play that game with each other, you know, um, fame whore can keep secrets, then that's up to them. But, you know, this is all about summer. And I always, you know, when I first came into all of this, I thought that every YouTuber was we I thought that every YouTuber and every one in the chats, all the viewers on uh -huh. here, we all had one mind and that would, you know, one topic, one Goal one, you know, one mind together in the in the topic was summer. The goal yeah. was for us to figure out what happened to this little girl. And I right. thought that we all were supposed to join in together. And if any of us, you know, were able to get information to get out here and put it out, let people know about it, you know. But share, she's not putting, you know, she comes out and she starts screaming, Where's your daughter? You go get your effing daughter. So right there, she's, you know, she's telling everybody. Here is mm -hmm. telling everybody that, you know, Donald is involved and he knows where his daughter is. She's trying to point it out. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but then she flip flops once Donald gets scared. And once Donald gets scared, you know, um, he flip flops and, and he comes back on her show. You see what I'm saying? And the, then the views start coming in again. And I, I guess maybe it's just this little game that you know that mm -hmm. that um okay, I'm going to scare Donald. He's going to come back on. I get a bunch of views. You know, Donald gets pissed off because things ain't going the way he wants, and he and you know he takes off and they and they argue and everything. You know, and people that that keeps Cher making making money and you yeah know, and everything and and what really is the sad thing about all of this is you know it, it ain't supposed to be about no money it ain't supposed right. to be about no money i promise right. you if tbi knocked a hole in that wall tomorrow and said hey you get the reward for for coming up and telling first i don't want it that's blood money I wouldn't want it. What I would want is to, them to take that money and give that little girl the funeral that she deserves. I would want them to take that money and give it to those little boys. You mm -hmm. know, when they turn of age, they'll have something to get to, to start a life on. Right. I wouldn't want that money. I want nothing to do with it. Right. I mean, you know, and it's just the way it is. It's blood money. And nobody should want in it. You know, if I was put up on YouTube, I would be using the money to put in a, a fund for some of the boys or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, it's um, money. You know, it's not money's not evil. Greed is evilness. Yeah. Right. 
Hi guys, uh, I need to, I am so sorry. I, my internet completely re reset and I was like, oh no, I thought it restarted, <laughs> restarted and everything, but I noticed like a couple minutes later that you guys were still going. So, um, Tabby, I got to pull up glitter Rosy now. Thank you so okay. much for coming up. I'm sorry that that happened. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I love you all. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. There we go. Brave of her to come up and say what she did. Yes, it was. It yeah. was. I'm sorry. I got kind of really. If you were really still saying something. You're, you're at Prairie Garden. If you were still answering something, you're welcome to continue. I just need to move along because it's it's like we have a full backstage and it's staying pretty full. And you know, at ten people at five minutes each, that's you know, fifty minutes. Um, yeah, exactly. That's 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 for a long time. So I'm trying to. That's what Stay I was saying. That's what I was saying. You know, um, that's that's what I hate to just drop people out of nowhere without know. saying hi. You know what I mean? I, I see people, other creators do that, and I hate that. I'm feeling, anyway. I'm, I'm feeling guilty too. I'm feeling guilty because I feel like you know these people ain't getting their full answer, you know, to their questions and so forth because we're having to drop them real quick. So. Yeah, um, you can always continue. I just have to say, you know, I, I just sometimes I cut you off because I have to be like, um, and, yeah, it, and it gets you off track. And right. I, I, it's just I wish there was a different way I could do this, like maybe a timer that automatically drops somebody so I don't have to do it. <laughs> but um, so next after glitter, Rodzi is levid, and then everyone needs something. And then um, I can't, it's, all I see is everyone needs and then Cam and Ricky is so, okay. Hi, Glitter. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Um, first, just want to say hi to Mary really fast. And we're on a time crunch. And I think you're super strong, Mary. I think you're awesome. Um, I have two quick questions for Prayer Garden. Okay. Um, so I've seen Lizzie claim that they are cleaning up the house. They're helping with those efforts to clean up the house. And I've seen that um, they're cleaning up the yard. Are they doing anything inside the house in an effort to get the boys back? Um, Donald told me that he bought a bunch of drywall. And he's going to be, well, somebody gave him a bunch of wiring. And then he said he's got to hire someone to come in and do the wiring. But then he said he also got a bunch of drywall that he paid for and that he's got to, I guess, he's going to be hanging that inside the house. So, obviously, um, I, I can't say, I cannot say how much um, production has been, you know, how much they have been able to, to get done and how much, you know, is actually getting done up inside of there. Um, okay. I say, I say it's a pretty slow process, but okay. you know, um, Thursday night, I'm bringing something out about that too. Okay. All right. And then my second question is uh, regarding Jody Sue and what she said she saw and heard that day um, yeah. regarding the truck and the scream. Is mm -hmm. it possible that, you know, regarding the scream and the truck, right? How can, Jody, Sue, hear the scream and hear the truck, and Candace not hear that inside. Well, let me tell you something. Um, I didn't have any of that planned for Thursday, so I'm going to go ahead and spit it out right now. I was on the phone with Donald at his house, and there's a lady that comes up there. Her name is Dell, and she comes up there and I'm going to tell you, I was on the phone with him, and I said, you know, I heard somebody pulling in. I said, who's that pulling in? And I'm going to tell you something. I even heard the door, the car door slam, and her start hollering, you know, hello, and all this stuff. And, um, yeah, and I'm like, how the hell did you not hear a car if I'm on the telephone, and I can hear all of that when someone pulls up? How did you not hear it? So, you right. know, uh, and then Cam and Allie um, supposedly went up there and they were like, you can't hear. I understand. It. No, I think what Cam and Allie did, like a lot of young people, they was up there so busy trying to get, you know how when you're busy hanging your clothes and you're busy doing this and that. I mean, sometimes people could be standing there or they could be talking to you and you didn't 
seem to hear a thing because you were not focused. You were focused on everything else but being able to hear something. So, you know, basically, um, I don't think they was up there to listen. I think they were up there to get video footage and, and busy with other things. And they, it was just something that creeped up on them before, you know, they got come back to reality, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And and they were like, oh, well, you know, they didn't understand. Hey, if you're spaced out, you, you, you know, you're not going to hear somebody pull in. Have you ever, have you ever, um, have you, you know, you sound like you're older. So I'm sure that you have had somebody pull in and usually you hear them, but certain times you don't. Because you're just doesn't sound like she's old, older. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you know, everybody's actually saying that she has like a uh, sweet pie. Low is like, I don't know if you've heard of her. She said that you have like, she has a channel of like, she has a really good channel. She's kind of, like, released a sweet, uh, this Donna Serafina, um, readings. But anyway, she said you have a voice of an angel. You have a really good voice. Like, thank you. Have you. A really good voice for, but anyways, uh, you have a pretty voice. But yeah, I mean, she's... you know, I didn't mean, I wasn't saying. Like, no, it's okay. Older. I didn't take it. I didn't did take Mary, it. Mary, Mary, did you have something to say? I Mary, really like, said, you know, you've, you've, you've been around long enough to know what I'm talking about, you know. To, right. But a screen well, is, you know, that's. Well, you if know. it was drawing I, to Jody I, Sue. I very, here's my thing. Is, you know, they got the police. They got TBI. They got FBI. And here's my thing. Is, you know. People find a lot out by what they call reenactment, reenactment. And, you know, and it's the police's job to go up there by grandma's camper. And it's their job to let a sound out, a sound out like yeah. a child scream that would equal to a child scream. And somebody be across the way on that hill where Jody Sue said she was. And let's see where that sound has to be in order for Jody Sue to have heard it. Yeah. And then we will know where Summer was at the time Jody Sue heard it. Yeah. Uh, let's let Mary, Mary, I think, has something to say. Uh, if I'm wrong, please just let me know, Mary. Yeah, Mary. yeah um, now Candace told Chris McDonough in that interview she done with him up on the property um, that she went over to the trailer that they were outside. And she said she walked over to fix the brace on her mom's knee and then walked back to the house. So she, and, and even in one phone call that I have, I asked her about that. I said, well, were you in the trailer or were you guys outside? And she goes, we were outside. We were sitting on the steps of grandma's trailer when she was fixing her brace. So how could she not have heard that scream if they were actually outside the trailer? Thank you, Mary. And you know what? And listen to this. She said, I also heard her Candace say, here's what she said. Well, when she was talking to me, well, you know, I went in the house and, and Summer jumped up and she came running out. We was planting flowers. And, and then we went into, she said, we went in to Grandma's trailer. We went inside, washed up, got some piece. And grand, my mother gave, Grandma gave Summer a piece of candy. And then Summer wanted, was bugging, wanting to go back over to her brothers. So I took her over there and sent her into the house. Now, and then I heard, and then it, then I heard um, this story told again out of Candace's mouth. And she says, hey, we had water on the back of the truck that we washed our hands up from. <laughs> what? What? You said you went in the trailer and did all it. Now, now you was on the back of a truck. It wasn't even going into grandma's to do it. I mean. Right there is what TDI is looking for. Right there is what the FBI is looking for. Those little inconsistencies right there tells us, you know, hey, you're BSing. You know what I'm saying? You are BSing. You can't keep your story straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Yeah, I want to say thank you to Glitter Rotsy for coming up. I, I dropped her so we could get levied up so I can move up, move down the line. <laughs> and I, I mean, gosh, 
Levitt has been waiting for a long time. So has Cam and all these can, guests. So. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. I just have a couple questions. What is – um? do Don and Ben talk to Prairie Garden at the same time? Oh. No. No? What about Cher? I haven't ever spoke to Cher at all. Okay. How, how often do you speak with Benny? In all honesty – I called Benny. Um, personally, I called Benny one time to speak with him. Um, he really couldn't talk much. He told me uh, he would call me back, which he um, called me back. But um, his grandmother, I think something happened to his grandmother. And um, she went to, was took to a hospital or something. And um, anyway, you know, I told him I pray for her and we got off the phone because that's important for him to, you know, address his grandmother and everything. But um, and then Benny. I just feel bad for Benny. I mean, he he Benny's been through a lot. And anyway, um, then um, Benny didn't call me back like he said he would and whatever. So I called him. And he was dropping the calls and so forth. So I just left him alone. And then um, Donald um, was telling him that he, you know, that Donald needed me, needed me. Because at that time, um, I was catching on to everything Donald was saying. I, you know, it was leading up to um, right about the time it came out about the uh, Jody Sue. He told me he didn't know them, and then I found out they he did, and that was kind of the final straw for me. That was when you know, um, no, I'm not, I'm not able to, no longer support, uphold, um, no, you know, I, I just caught him in too many lies, indiscrepancies, and all kinds of other things. I wasn't so, feeling right about it anyway, but anyhow. Um, Benny Keys, let's get back to Benny. And then Benny hit me up um, because Donald was upset that I wasn't talking to him. And Benny, really what Benny wanted was to get me out of the way. Try to, you know, because that's what Benny and Cher do. They try to get people out of Donald's life. And that's okay. I mean, I don't know why they're trying to monopolize the man. But they, they possibly have, you know... Um, They've really messed this case up by what they've done because Donald should have been able to be free to come out here and talk to everybody, not somebody. But long story short, um, Benny Keys hit me up um, to call him, please. I didn't see the message. One message. One message. That's what he said. And I did not text Benny Keys ever at all. I haven't ever texted Benny Keys. It was, and then he called the phone, and my daughter answered, and my daughter gave me the phone, and it was Benny, and um, I can't remember precisely what the conversation was about. I don't know something is, about Donald. Is he respectful to you when you talk to him? Benny Keys. Yes. Um, I'm when he talked with me. Well, yeah, you know, I did call him when his little boy was sick and I told him, you know, I was praying for his little boy and I would appreciate Benny was going through some things right there. But he um, basically what he did was, you know, he, he acted respectful pretty much on the phone calls. I, you know, I feel like I said, I feel sorry for Benny. But yeah. then then today, you know, today he came up on on YouTube and started threatening me and you know um if i what he's saying is if i don't sit down and i don't shut up um he's going to put bad things out there about me but and but why there. what triggered him to do that it's something about donald he yeah. he's did it have donald. to do with the drywall talk from last night yes it did it did uh, did don go off on you too um, <laughs> he was yeah, trying to call on her. He's been blowing my phone up. Yes, when, he has. When was the last time you talked to him? I talked to him during the live last night with um. Everybody kept saying answer, answer, and I did, and that's the last time I spoke to him. Okay. Um. 
that's all the questions I have for right now. Well, thank um, you. you well, I got one more. Okay. Um, the whole red car thing. So if you watch Chasing with Justice at the beginning of um, everything that was going on, uh, Don was telling her in an interview that Summer used to come running down the driveway when she'd come up when he'd come home. So, if Summer knew that he had the red car that day, and Candace or Summer heard him coming home, she would go run down that driveway, whether it was Don in the driveway or not. She could have. Um, and with the neighbor seeing a red car, that's a very good possibility. That's one of my two possibilities. The other one is some accident happened and the drywall thing makes sense. So. Um, I'm going to tell you now. Um, the red truck. Everybody's talking about a red truck with the ladder racks and. No, I, I didn't. I don't think it has anything to do with the ladder rack or any of that stuff. I think that was from a couple of days before that. Um, a real quick question, and then I'll go so other people can come up here. Has Don ever talked vehicle? about Jose? What red vehicle were you talking about? Well, there was a red vehicle that pulled in their driveway that day at the bottom. No, you're talking about the one that Jody Sue saw go around the corner. Her son, her son, um, confirmed that that was a neighbor's car that he had seen before. Okay. Uh, what was that last question you just said, Levitt? That was a, I was interested. That was a great one because I forgot what it was. Hold on one second. Oh, crap. Um, uh, hmm. Dang, it's it's about Jose? Yes, Were about Jose. Going? Jose, Jose. Yeah, did, uh, did Don, has Don ever talked about Jose or Candace? Have they ever talked about Jose? Yes. Um, Can you elaborate on it or no? Um, you're going to have to ask Siggy about that because I don't know how much time we got. Uh, well, I mean, just real quick, I'll, I, I can go ahead and, uh, pull up the next person and he can listen backstage, I guess. I don't know. Uh, just, if, can you just like mention real just, quickly? Like, so just what, um, what is their mention with him? I mean, if somebody took my daughter, I'd be livid. I'd be running around and looking everywhere. Anybody that Dobbs would be questioned by me. Jose, nobody knows where he is. I'd go find him. He was there yeah. along with other people, as I know, that there's maybe 10 people possibly that week. I could be wrong, but that was something that was thrown out there. Um. And that was while Don was in Utah. So um, that leaves a big possibility of a lot of people having access to that property that dogs would know. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Um, let's go back to when Summer got kidnapped. Okay. How and do I'm you know she got kidnapped? Or not kidnapped, but when she got came up missing. Um, let's go back to, you know, the beginning, the beginning. First, she's lost in the woods. No, she's not. Donald says, no, she's not. Then she's kidnapped. And, you know, Donald wants to stick with that story because that is a legible story. And that's the story that's going to get everybody um, to keep the focus off of him, Candace, Grandis, and whatever there. So, you know, let's go back to the beginning of it. And, and here's, what, here's what he was asked. Donald, what do you want done to the people that did this to your daughter? Um, well, how would you answer that? You're a man. <laughs> Not the way that he did. Exactly. Exactly. No, you wouldn't. And I don't think any, even a mother wouldn't answer it the way he did. No. You know, oh, I don't want nobody going to jail. Oh, I wouldn't want to do that to him. I'm sorry. But, you know, um, I'd want to tie him to the back end of the truck and drag him down a freeway, to be honest with you. But, you know, um, he wasn't answering it like that. Because why did he want mercy for the, for, for the person? 
Well, the only reason you would want mercy for someone is if it was someone you care about, someone you love, someone that you wouldn't, you know, that you, if it's your family member, someone you care about, then you're going to, you know, you can't be harsh with that. So, and, and you guys pretty much got the answer right from the get on all of this, you know. Yes and no. Um I don't believe a word that comes out of Don's mouth. Sometimes I think that he says the opposite. Um, oh, no. No, no, previous no. behavior is future behavior. So if he's lied all of his life, he's lying now. And no. he's probably throwing everybody a curveball. Um, I'm saying, no, he wasn't lying when he said he wanted um, practically immunity for whoever uh, did something to his daughter. He oh, wasn't yeah, lying. Was because I'm going to tell you why he wanted immunity for whoever did something to his daughter. He knew it was his own wife. He knew that, you know, it's his own family right there. If it would have been a stranger, if, if you see how Donald talks to Mary and Donald talks to me and his aggressiveness and his anger and his, and his, his outbursting, you don't understand. Someone really had his daughter. He would not be having the mouth hold back nonchalant demeanor that he's having on everyone i mean that right there you know that, you got your answer right there but i can't make everybody open their eyes i can't make you all see no i i agree with you it's just if somebody took her he knows who it is if something else happened to her he knows what happened I'm gonna, the last people I'm gonna tell you something he said, no, now listen, he said that he made it clear, Grandis and Candace are the last to see her. And he also stated to me, um, I was at work, I'm pretty sure I got an alibi. Um, yeah, I pretty much be covered, wouldn't I? As if he's thinking to himself at the same time asking me. And yeah, Well, the problem with that is, is that uh, he's been known to leave work at 3.30, if not sooner, and go other places before he gets home. Well, so, he, was, he was, you know, he was pretty sure with his um, boss and his buddy coming in that day, speaking with him, and being able to, you know, um, stand firm that he was there. Then now he thinks that, you know, um, he, it, with that, he's got a solid alibi. It, uh, it, it, we'll, when, we'll see about that the when, more when will the, come out when the truth comes out when the truth yeah. is Grandis did it you know he's hoping they don't all get because I'm going to tell you what he told me you guys got nothing you got he, 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 he quit listening to this and quit listening to that sissy they got nothing wow so he's trying to say we have nothing on him okay no, all right. That, that, all right. that, that, Mary that, Mary it was nice to be on panel with you. Keep staying strong. Tell Jeannie that we all pray for her. All right. And Lizzie, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Uh, or not Lizzie, us. Uh, or Ziggy. Or, Jeez. Ziggy. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Thanks for coming up. You have some great questions. Yes, indeed. Maybe Jose will come up here in a little bit. I'm sure somebody is going <laughs> to hopefully we can get there. But thank you so much, Levin. Yes. Hey, Levin yeah. Oh, guys. Oh, go ahead. Um, go ahead. Hey, Ziggy, I, I just wanted you guys to know that um, Donnie had a chance for um, some, well, it's actually my sister and her husband. They He has some friends that have cadaver dogs. And I guess they got a hold of Donnie and said, well, can we come up there with our dogs? And Donnie flat out turned him down, said, nope. I don't what? want you on my property. What? Yep. He said, nope, I don't want you or them dogs on my property. So, you know, that just tells you right there. He's hiding something, you know. He's hiding something. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, wow. that, and that is exactly what I was just saying. He was telling me, sissy. Sissy, don't listen to all this garbage. Don't listen to what these people say. And, and then he all of a sudden out of the blue says, they ain't got nothing. You know? Yeah. Like, uh, 
basically what Donald's saying is you guys ain't got nothing. He feels that there, there's no, you, you're not going to convict me. You're not going to convict my family because you haven't got nothing. He thinks if you ain't got the body, you got nothing. There you go. That's it. Yeah, Lady R, uh, Don does call her sissy, 